Generally, investors make losses because they think they can time the market efficiently. However, timing the market is extremely challenging, if not impossible. Millions of investors worldwide have lost their entire capital trying to time the market. An age-old market rule of buy low, sell high governs that you invest your money when the market is low so that you can earn returns when it starts rising. But investing at the lowest possible levels is an instinctive wish of most investors. When the market falls, investors should ideally be tempted to put money in their favorite shares and mutual funds. More often than not, such temptations are followed by an additional expectation of further decline in prices, which makes investors wait longer. Such prolonged waits usually result in inaction, and by that time, the markets have rebounded, resulting in a lost opportunity. However, the solution does not lie in getting hold of a magical crystal ball to earn profits. We've got a substitute for you. Introducing Rupee Cost Averaging But before we move on to what exactly is Rupee Cost Averaging? Hi, I am Pratap Narula, Investment Consultant and Educator. And if you like my video, please put in your likes and subscribe to my channel. Also, ring that bell to get all future notifications from this channel and put in your feedbacks and comments. Further, put in your questions in the comment box and I shall get back to you on the same. Now let us understand what Rupee Cost Averaging or RCA is, why it's important and how it could potentially benefit investors in the long run. RCA is the concept of averaging out the price at which you buy equity-based investments. This refers to investing fixed sums of money regularly in a particular investment at different points of time and hence at different prices. What automatically ends up happening is that you buy more units at a lesser price and less units when the price goes higher. This results in the average cost of your investment per unit being lower than the price per unit over time. This is one of the most reliable ways to gain from market volatility. Equity investments are primarily influenced by market volatility which reflects the unpredictability of the economy. If you recall the law of demand, people buy more of a good when it's less expensive and less of it when the price goes up. The fundamental principle of investing reinforces the same thing. It guides the investor to buy low and sell high. However, most of the investors end up doing just the opposite. They start buying when the markets are rising and suddenly redeem upon a slump. Ultimately, the average cost of investing increases and returns fall. The RCA approach is relatively new but hugely popular among sensible investors. The strategy helps them make a profit from the market without taking risks typical of the equity market. The RCA method performs best in challenging market conditions and helps you sail over the volatility in market prices to reap rich dividends in the long term. Now coming to the power of rupee cost averaging in mutual funds. Investing in mutual funds is generally considered a popular way for individuals to build wealth over time and the strategy of RCA has gained significant attention and importance in the world of mutual funds. A great way to harness this strategy is through the systematic investment plans or SIPs facility offered by mutual funds. SIPs are a great way to reduce the average cost of your investment which in turn increases the scope of potential gains. SIPs have been a popular term among the investor community. As a first-time investor, you may lack the required knowledge or expertise to track the market continuously. And it is for this reason that you are advised to invest via the SIP route. Investment via SIPs in mutual funds will allow you to take advantage of RCA in an automated manner. When investors set up a particular amount of investment every month via mutual funds, they can average out the value per unit. In simple terms, it is a systematic investment plan which has the potential to help investors build wealth. In this process, one buys more units of a mutual fund when prices are low and fewer units when the prices are high. This process brings down the investor's average cost for each unit. 
Also, it requires the investors to invest in small portions over a period. Over time, this strategy aims to reduce the impact of market volatility on overall investment and you do not need to worry about the fluctuations in the NAV since your investment amount remains the same every month. The RCA approach lets you sail over the volatility in market prices to gain profits in the long term. Let's now consider the following example to understand the benefits of RCA while investing through SIP vis-a-vis -a, -vis a lump sum investment. Richa invests Rs 10,000 every month in an equity mutual fund through an SIP plan. Let's say she started investing in Jan 23 and the SIP was for a period of 12 months. Considering the market has been quite volatile, her investments are reflecting in the table on your screens. So now by December 23, Richa has invested Rs. 1,20,000 and purchased 3,128.62 units. Now, the average NAV using RCA for each unit comes as low as 38.36, that is 1,20,000 divided by 3,128.62 units. If Richa does not opt for SIP and chooses to invest a lump sum amount, then according to the NAV of Jan 23, which is Rs 40, the number of units purchased would be 3000. By December 23, the NAV of that fund is Rs 41 and the value of the SIP investments is Rs 1,28,273, that is 3128 units multiplied by 41. On the other hand, the value of the lump sum investments is Rs 1,23,000, which is 3000 units multiplied by 41. The SIP investments are more by Rs 5,273 or 4.39%. This clearly shows that the SIP method has higher returns than the lump sum method. Although this will not always be true, for example, in a rising market like the financial year 2021, lump sum will definitely give better returns. But due to a host of other advantages, RCA is considered a better option in majority of the cases. Let us now look at these advantages. The concept of RCA is relatively new but has gained popularity among smart investors. The strategy of RCA is to make a profit without taking risks that are normally a part of the equity market. Advantage number one, the average purchase price comes down. When you invest a lump sum in a mutual fund, you do not get the opportunity to average out your investment. Hence, in this case, your average price remains the same as the purchase price. However, when you take the RCA approach, your investment gets spread out. Moreover, as you buy more units when the NAV is low, the average price per unit decreases. Therefore, the RCA approach lets you get more units at less price and strike gold when the market goes up. Advantage number two, RCA saves your capital from market volatility. Seasoned investors, especially option traders, make volatility their best friend. The higher the volatility, the bigger the profits. However, for a small investor, high volatility can wipe out their capital in a single trading session. The RCA approach lets you protect your capital from the harmful effects of volatility. For example, if the market crashes due to extreme volatility, you will get more units and when the market eventually goes up, so will your profit margin. This reduces the risk of making significant investments at the wrong time, such as during market peaks. Advantage number three, the investment amount is easy on the pocket. SIP investments generally start from 500 rupees per month, but if possible, try investing something more. Since the risks are minimal, you can invest a higher amount without any worry. However, before investing a high amount, try to analyze the growth potential of the stocks invested in general and the market in particular. Therefore, RCA lets you invest less and earn high returns. Advantage number four, use it for hedging. Some investors use the concept of RCA to hedge their investments. They divide their total investment into two equal portions. They invest the first portion in equity SIPs 
and the second in debt SIPs. Generally, when the equity market rises, debt market growth remains muted and vice versa. The hedging strategy ensures that their net fund value never goes below the original amount. Advantage number 5. Disciplined Investing RCA brings discipline in investment approach. It encourages one to stay invested over the long term regardless of market fluctuations. This long-term perspective can be helpful for accumulating wealth steadily and achieving financial goals. Advantage number 6. Emotional Control Investing can be emotionally taxing, especially during market downturns. RCA removes the need for emotional decision-making. You invest systematically regardless of whether the market is bullish or bearish, which can help you avoid making impulsive decisions driven by fear or greed. This approach brings in automation while investing and helps the investor reduce the guessing game to time the market. Advantage number 7. The Power of Compounding RCA is generally considered ideal for long-term wealth accumulation goals such as retirement planning or saving for your child's education. Over an extended period, the power of compounding coupled with disciplined investing has the potential to grow your investments. To understand more about the power of compounding, you can view one of my earlier videos on this topic. The link for this is available on the top right of your screens and in the description in the beginning of this video. Despite many benefits, RCA also contains a couple of downsides. The first problem with this approach is that your SIP investment amount remains the same irrespective of the market status. However, you can always increase the SIP amount or top up your investments with a lump sum amount when you feel the market will move in your favor. Another downside of this strategy is the exit load. Mutual fund houses generally levy an exit load on withdrawals within a predetermined period from the investment date. Since in SIP you invest every month, at any time you have to pay the exit load for the previous 12 months investment amount or a period as specified by the fund. On your screens, you see an example of SIP started in January 18 and part redemption of Rs 25,000 in February 19 at a NAV of Rs 77 which equals 324.68 units. For this, no exit load is charged for the SIPs in Jan and Feb 18 since that was 12 months prior to the redemption date. But it is charged for the investments in March and April 18. To conclude, if you ask why RCA is the best approach for all the investors, it can be summed up through the following points. RCA allows investors to maximize the return on their assets and are so much better as they are achieved with minimal effort. By embracing RCA, one can navigate the ups and downs of the market with confidence, which would help work towards achieving one's financial goals and make every SIP count. It allows an individual to balance out their investment costs by purchasing in both falling and rising markets. In times of collapsing markets, it provides the investor with additional units for the same exact money. It helps investors to automate the complete procedure and minimizes speculation on the market ups and downs and the constant need to understand when to invest. Averaging rupee cost eliminates the need to monitor the market on a regular basis. RCA provides the benefit of steady investing which aids in avoiding the hazards of market volatility. Investment in SIP boosts both psychological and financial discipline within the investor. It is the strategy that gives improved opportunities for money growth that is suitable for all kinds of investors ranging from the beginners to the high-end investors. Remember, consistency and patience are key when it comes to RCA as it's a strategy designed for the long haul. Finally, I would say that RCA is the best approach for all investors without taking risks typical of the equity market. Thank you all for watching this video. Please put in your suggestions and feedbacks and once again I would request you to like this video and subscribe to my channel.